welcome our rejection. And I know that's hard to do. It's just like trials and tribulation. But look here in, in James 1, 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. So, you know, as a man, you know, rejection, just welcome it. You know, you know it's going to happen. You, you have this long-term perspective. But if you can change to the point where you even welcome rejection, you say, bring it on. You know, let's, let, you know, bring on the trials, bring on the tribulation. Why? No pain, no gain, right? It's like for those of you who work out, and this is, I can't speak from experience in this, but, you know, let's say you work out, right? You know it's painful, but you know that that pain is what is getting you to the next level. And a lot of people that work out, they play sport, you feel good after you're like, you know, your muscles are sore and you're tired because you know it was profitable to you. It's the same with trials and temptations and even rejection. You know, welcome it because it's going to make you more of a man. You know, your pride, I think, is only hurt if you don't expect rejection. You know, because if you expect it, then when you're rejected, you're just like, well, okay, well, this doesn't do anything to my pride because, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, I knew this was going to happen. This is just part of, of being a man. And, you know, oftentimes, you know, when you approach a lady amongst your peers, it, they probably see you as more of a man, right? It could probably lift your pride in a sense because you have the, you know, the... Uh, I was, was going to say that word, but yeah, you have the stuff to, 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 to go up and, you know, not be scared, right? So I, I think it maybe should, it should lift up your game. Um, but I do think it's a man's responsibility. And the Bible says a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. Not a, not a woman leaves her father and mother. So I do think it's the man's responsibility. He's the one that goes and seeks a wife. And because women are more emotional, right? They're a bit less stable. And, you know, we, this is a generalization. You know, obviously there can be a woman that is more emotionally stable than, than another man. But I'm talking about generalizations, right? It's like you say, you know, men are stronger than women. And you say, well, what about Ronda Rousey? Ronda Rousey can, can, can tackle men and do that. Well, she's an exception, right? So, you know, generally women are, are, are more emotional and less uh, stable emotionally. And that's why I think it's up to the man to go out there and face that rejection. Um, and just keep that in mind, you know, when you do approach a woman. You know, don't lead women along because you do know that they're going to be emotionally entwined. And if you're just, you know, lackadaisical about it and just approaching women and leading them on and then breaking up with them and leaving this wake of broken hearts, uh, don't do that. Treat your sisters with respect and purity. <coughs> um, you know, be a leader, you know, I know this saying, pioneers take the most arrows, uh, but they get the biggest plot of land. And um, let me show you this verse in Isaiah. You know, follow after Christ's footsteps. Right? Look in Isaiah 53.3. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. So, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, he came for his church, right? He was despised. I mean, how many times is Jesus rejected of people, right? He's rejected and rejected and rejected. But we read in Revelation that he's, he gets married in the end, right? He, we see the marriage supper of the Lamb. Uh, and I'm sure he's not even concerned at that point about those that rejected him. You know, they are already sent to hell, right? So follow after Christ's footsteps. It says here that he's rejected of men. Uh, he's acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. Isn't that a bit like dating, right? You know, you date somebody and it doesn't happen, and now you're going to hide your face from them. And you see them at work, you hid, hid, as it were, our faces from him. Even at church, you know, you don't want to have eye contact anymore. It can be a bit awkward, I know. Um, I guess it's a bit like that. Maybe that's why it's in there, right? 